just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. Today, Jesus describes that the sign he will give to evil people is himself as the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. Just as Jonah allowed himself tossed overboard the boat to still the ragging tempest and save the sailors' lives, so Jesus allowed himself to be tossed overboard to calm the storm of sins that threatened our lives. Just as Jonah spent three days in the belly of the whale before being spit out on dry land, so Jesus would spend three days in the belly of the earth before walking out of the empty tomb. The sign that Jesus would give to the evil people of every generation is the sign of his death and resurrection. His death, freely accepted, is the sign of God's incredible love for us. Jesus gave his life to save our own. His resurrection from the dead is the sign of his divine power. This is the most powerful and moving sign ever given. But Jesus is the sign of Jonah in yet another sense. Jonah was an icon and agent of conversion. At his preaching, 40 days more, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. The page in Ninevites converted, as everyone from the king to children to animals covered themselves in sackcloth and ashes. During these 40 days of Lent, we have someone far greater than Jonah, preaching conversion to us, Jesus himself. And our conversion should be just as so. St. John Chrysostom writes in the person of Christ, for Jonah was a servant, but I am the master. And he came forth from the great fish, but I rose from death. He proclaimed destruction, but I am I have come preaching the good tidings of the kingdom. A week ago on Ash Wednesday we covered ourselves in ashes and heard individually the words of Jesus first only. Repent and believe in gospel. The question for us is, have we responded yet with deep conversion like the Ninevites and embraced that gospel? 